showing a different header on different parts of your website helps keep people focused and not distracted, as well as enables you to create different experiences on different parts of your website. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this using the conditional headers feature inside of Cadence Theme Pro. Now, your header is the area on your website here at the top, and I have this notice here, and I have my navigation and this book now button. This is the area of your website that a visitor first looks at and it gives them a pathway to different parts of your website. So by being able to show something different on different parts of your website, it enables you to keep them focused. For example, when I click right here on my pricing page, right here I might not want to have all these ways to go to different parts of my website. I might want this message to not be there or to be different. I might not want a search icon here or these menu navigation options. I might want to just keep them focused focused with the book now button and maybe some message in here. This is very easy to do and I'm going to show you how. The first step is to enable the feature. I'm going to go to appearance and then click right here where it says cadence and scroll down a little bit and here's the option. It's called conditional headers and I'll toggle this on and now it is enabled on my site. So the next step is to create a conditional header. Now we're going to do this where we create headers and that is inside of the customizer. So I'll go here underneath appearance and click on customize. Next, I'll click here where it says header and I'll scroll all the way down to reveal the option that is conditional header. I'll click on that and now we're at the settings panel to create a conditional header. So the options we have right here is to choose the header that we want to preview and any new header that we will create will be in this list. Underneath it is the header, the conditional headers that we have created. Now, when you turn this on by default, there'll be this header here that says extra header. You can choose to use this and enable it, but I want to create a new header from scratch. So what I'm going to do is click right here where it says add header. And we have three options. We can start with a clean start from scratch header, or we can copy everything in the default header. So for me, it would be this notification up here in the navigation here, everything that is in this header, it will just make a duplication of it. So I can start editing it from there as well as you can now import and export headers. And I'll show you that later in this video. So for me, I'm going to just click right here where it says copy default. And here we go. We've got this new header here that's been created. Now it's toggled off. So I'm going to go ahead and expand the options to show you what these are. So first we can change the label and that's what we have here. So I'm going to change this. There we go. I've named it pricing header. And then these next options should look familiar to you if you, use, you have used the cadence elements feature before. And these are the targeting options, we're going to choose when to display this header instead of the default header. So for the display settings, I'll go ahead and expand it. And then we have the option here to show on. And here are all those familiar options that you might already be aware of. So for me, I want it to be the pricing page. So I'm going to click right here where it says single page. And then how am I going to choose this single page? Is it going to be all? It's not. For me, I want one particular page. So I'm going to choose individually. And then I get this option to select a page or pages that I want to show this new header on. And for me, it's going to be this pricing page right here. So I'll select it and then click on the select button in the bottom right. Okay, so now I've set where I want this header to show. The next thing is who's going to see it. So I'll expand these options and I want it visible to all users, but we have some additional options here of logged in users, logged out users. So you can create a different header for someone that's logged in as well as different user roles right here. Great for membership websites. So I'm going to choose all users. And we also have the expires settings, which I won't be using in this example. But what this is going to allow you to do is create a header that will show for a period of time and then it won't show any longer. OK, I'm happy with the settings that I have there. And I am going to go ahead and scroll all the way up and I'm going to click here to collapse these options. And what I want to do now is 
preview this new header. And so right here it says current preview header. I want to choose that header I just created. So this is going to load the header down here and allow me to start making my changes. I'll go ahead and click right here where it says pricing header. And I get this message here that I need to save the settings and then it's going to reload the page for me. So I'm going to click right here. It saved my settings. It just did the reload. And now I am previewing the pricing header that I just created. And we have this notification right here to let me know that I am not editing the default header. I'm editing one of the new headers that I've just created. So now I can go ahead and why don't I click on the pricing page so I can go to where I am going to have this header load and I can start tweaking it a little bit. So I'm going to do something simple. I'm going to get rid of the navigation. I'm also going to get rid of the search option here. Next, I'll get rid of this top header. So I'm going to get rid of this HTML element and that HTML element. And those are the only changes that I'm going to make right now. So I'm going to go ahead and click on publish. And this is going to save the header. And I'm going to go back into the conditional header options to enable the header. So I'll click here where it says conditional. And I'm going to toggle the switch on. And now this header has been created. So when I click on publish, and then I exit the customizer. Here I am on the home page. And when I click on the pricing page, we should see that different header experience that I've created. So this feature is going to enable you to keep people focused and not distracted. And it's going to allow you to create a different experience on different parts of your website. Other great uses for this is if you have, say, a WooCommerce store, you can keep the visitor focused on the purchase and keep them in the store by changing your navigation. You can use this on blog posts. You can use this feature on membership websites or any type of website where people need to log in membership and online course websites. So now I'll show you some additional options, the import export of headers. So I'm going to go back into the customizer. I'm going to click on header. You can see it remembers the last header that you were previewing. So we might want to go back to the default header. So I'll scroll down to where it says conditional headers. I'll choose that option. And for the current previewing header, I'll go back to the default by just choosing that. I'll click on confirm and it's going to save and reload everything. And here I am back at the header. I'll scroll down and get back into conditional headers. So now we have this header that we're not using. It's toggled off. This was the one that was created by default. I'll click right here to expand. And you can easily remove headers by just choosing this option here that says remove header. I will confirm it. And now I've removed that header. So with that header gone, I'll go ahead and click on save to save my changes. Now there was also an export option inside of your custom built headers. I'll go ahead and expand this and you can see here's the option. It says export header. When we click on this, it's going to download a file and you can see a file has been downloaded to my computer. Now you see the import options when you want to go and create a new header. So I'll go ahead and click on add new header and we have those three options. Start from scratch, copy the default header or import. I'll go ahead and choose import. And then right here, we just need to choose that file. Once you've chosen the file, click on import and create new. And here is that new header. Now it's not going to carry over the name of the header or your display settings because you're probably going to want to have those be different. But this feature now enables you to make your headers portable and you can share headers. You can export them from one site to another site. It's very powerful feature that you now have. So there might be a situation where you have two or more custom headers that have the same rules as far as displaying that header. So what you can do, though, is you can rearrange these headers and the header at the top will always have the priority. You see this? So I can rearrange these as well. Always make sure to click on publish when you're done creating and customizing your headers. And that's all there is to having different headers on different parts of your website to create different 
different experiences. This is a feature found in Cadence Theme Pro. If you're not a pro member, there's a link down below or you can visit cadencewp.com to purchase a license. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.